Today we're going to start poetry with figurative language on page 38 in the grab and go. What we're going to start with is looking at different types of figurative language, such as similes or metaphors, being able to determine and explain the meaning of the simile and metaphor, and also looking at personification and explaining the personification. So our vocab metaphor, when a word or phrase is compared to something that it is literally not. So if I were to say, she is a cheetah, that is a metaphor because I'm saying that a person is a cheetah, which clearly they are not, even though they might be fast, which would be when you would use that metaphor. Where a simile is a word or phrase compared to something that it's literally not using the words like or as. So it's both comparing something that it cannot be. So instead, if I said, she is as fast as a cheetah, then it's a simile, and the simile really gives you more of a hint of why the comparison is, where the metaphor assumes that you would know why they were using that comparison. Personification is a completely different thing. It is not a comparison of things, but rather it's saying that um, a non-human thing is doing something human. So it's the attribution of human characteristics to something non-human. So if we say something like the tree shuddered and lost all of its leaves, or if we talk about a feather dancing on the wind, that is personification because a feather isn't actually dancing in the wind. It's just that the wind's moving it around. And when we see it, we're just like, oh, it looks like dancing. That's what personification is. So we're going to use one um, simple poem here about daffodils and look at the metaphors and similes that are in this poem. So I'm going to start by reading the poem. The Daffodils by Williams Word Wordsworth. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way, they stretch in never-ending line along the margin of the bay. Ten thousand I saw at a glance, tossing their heads in a sprightly dance. The waves beside them danced, but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee. A poet could not but be gay in such a jaundice company. I gazed and gazed, but little thought what wealth the show to me had brought. For oft, when on my couch I lie in vacant or in pensive mood, they flash upon that inward eye, which is the bliss of solitude. And then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils. There's actually lots of metaphors and similes, and we're just going to look at a couple that I've already bolded for you. So in terms of metaphors, so we're looking for a comparison that does not use like or as, um, one of the metaphors that is used is a host of golden daffodils. The comparison is a large number of flowers to an army, which is an old word for host. And when we're reading this poem, we can tell this is not a recent poem. This is a poem that was written some time ago, uh, looking at some of the word use that we no longer find common. So that is the metaphor. Daffodils are being compared to an army. A simile that I already highlighted for you was, I wandered lonely as a cloud. And the comparison is a person to a cloud, and it's using as. Clearly a person can't be a cloud, and then the use of as makes it a simile rather than a metaphor. For the personification, we're going to look at how the daffodils are said to be dancing. So in the first stanza, it says fluttering and dancing in the breeze. And in the final stanza, in the fourth stanza, it says dances with the daffodils. Flowers don't dance, people do, but up here at the beginning, so this whole thing is talking about the daffodils, and that is what is fluttering and dancing in the breeze. So the fluttering is not personification, but the dancing is. 
And then down here at the end, it's saying my heart dances with the daffodils. So both heart and daffodils are not people. Your heart is part of you, but it is not a person itself. So both hearts and daffodils do not dance. So that is where personification comes in. Something that is not a person acting and doing things that a human would do.